her kitchen. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I love chocolate. And when I got diabetes, I was really happy to find out that chocolate has a surprising number of health benefits. As long as it's 70% cocoa above, it has low sugar and dairy free, then it has a lot of health benefits and I've listed them because there's so many. So I'll just read them out. So chocolate can help lower blood pressure. It can help to manage blood sugar. It can enhance sensitivity to insulin. It can help to lower blood glucose. It reduces the risk of heart attack and stroke. It's a powerful source of antioxidants, actually even more than berries. It also contains good amounts of iron, magnesium, copper, selenium, potassium, and other minerals. It helps improve brain function, helps reduce stress, and improves mood. So that's quite an impressive amount of health benefits for chocolate. Obviously, in moderation. <laughs> so I'm going to show you my favourite chocolate mousse recipe. It contains only chocolate and water, so no added fat or sugar except what is in the chocolate. So all you do is break the chocolate into pieces and put it in a mixing bowl. dark chocolate. So now I've just boiled some water. I'm going to put in one cup of boiling water. Now you just got to let it sit there for a couple of minutes and after that you're going to mix it for five to ten minutes until it becomes smooth and creamy. So the chocolate has softened, so now it has to be beaten up for 5 to 10 minutes depending on the um, strength of the mixer. So today I'm going to do a mocha and orange mousse. So I have some um, dried coffee. This is mocha Kenya, but you could use any coffee you like. So I'm just going to add a tablespoon of coffee now. So that goes straight in. And then you have to just beat it until it's all incorporated and smooth. So occasionally the mousse may start to go too thick and gluggy. And if that happens, all you need to do is add a tablespoon of boiling water and then keep mixing it again on a high speed and it should come back to a smooth consistency. So now I'm just going to add the rind of an orange. This gives it a little extra lift and also takes away a bit of the bitterness because obviously this can be a little bitter for some people's taste. I'm just going to quickly beat in the orange rind. Okay, it's done. So all you need to do now is put it in some nice glasses and chill it in the fridge till you're ready to serve. And this would make an elegant dinner party dessert too in nice glasses. 
And I can show you how to make a quick white chocolate bar that's dairy free that you could use to decorate this. So now I'm going to make dairy-free white chocolate bar that's great for decorating desserts like chocolate mousse. So I have half a cup of cacao butter, which is the vegetable fat from the cocoa bean. So it's not white chocolate, it's cacao butter. I just put it in the saucepan and melt it over a very low heat. So just add a um, quarter of a cup of coconut oil and we'll put in a tablespoon of maple syrup and a teaspoon of vanilla. Then just mix all that together and then uh, just pour it into um, a hand mixer jug and then we need to blend it very thoroughly for about one to two minutes. Okay it's blended now and it looks brownish at this stage but it will turn white as it sets. So just spread out whatever um, toppings you want to use. You can use the same ones as in the mousse. There's the coffee and the orange or berries look nice or almonds or bits of chocolate. So now this just goes in the freezer for about 15 minutes. As you can see, it's become like white chocolate. So you just break it into pieces and use it to decorate the mousse. And I've just put the mousse into a glass. So we'll just stick everything. Oh. <laughs> However you like. Something like that, maybe. And it's best to keep this in the fridge until you're ready to eat it. And there it is. My luscious chocolate mocha orange mousse. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.